What's going on YouTube? July from jointhemarker.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a custom conversion um, in Facebook ads, okay? So um, what you use custom conversions for is basically if you have a page and you want to track something, you can use use the custom conversion to track that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but before we get into that, definitely subscribe if you're a new subscriber. Hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos or for this video, leave that down below. All right, so let's actually get right into it. Don't want to waste any more time. You know how I roll. Um, so what you want to do is once you go to business.facebook.com and you have... Um, your account set up what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your ads manager so you just click over here um, and then you want to go to all tools and then under measure and report you want to go to custom conversions okay um, I can make uh, different videos on different topics I don't want to go too in-depth today uh, because you can kind of get lost but that is a good idea that I might actually just make a little mini Facebook ads course for you guys so you know where things are um, so let's actually do that actually um, right on the spot, right? That's how we do around here. Just kind of got to do things. All right So once we're in the custom conversions area um, This is actually a pixel that I don't really normally use I'm just starting to use it um, some more so there's not that much data for my custom conversions But what you want to do is click on create custom conversion and then from here you can give your custom conversion a name so you can say something like signed up for training um, you can give it a description if you want so for example um, signed up for live tra training on um, November 15 all right and then you select the data source so the data source is basically your pixel and I can make another video showing you how to actually put your pixel on click funnels I already made a video about that but I'll do an updated video for you guys um, coming soon so then you want to select the URL traffic. So you can select um, all URL traffic or you can select um, standard events. So for example, if someone were to view content, you can select that um, or you can select a purchase. So uh, this is basically um, basically saying if someone viewed a page then you will select the URL or if someone made a purchase on a particular URL, you can do that. Um, so let's actually just say view content for now. So what we want to do though is you want to go into our ClickFunnels account or wherever your URL is for whatever particular thing you're trying to set up. Um, all right. So once you are here uh, inside your ClickFunnels account. You're gonna to want to go to um, the funnel that you're going to actually use, um, and then you're gonna go find the funnel step. So um, I've been promoting a live training. So if you haven't seen my live training on YouTube ads, definitely go watch that. Um, it is getting taken down um, tomorrow, so definitely go watch that. So let's just say that I have um, this training and I want someone to. Um, as someone signs up, so if they get to the thank you page, which is this area, um, I want them. I want to know about that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to copy this URL, and I'm going to go back to Facebook um, Ad Manager, um, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually put in the rule here. So the rule is basically um, as long as this URL contains or doesn't contain or equals. Um, and someone lands on this then this will equal a view content so we can say equals we can say contains or doesn't contain um, typically I like to either use um, contained depending on what I'm doing so if it's someone's making a purchase though I would select um, I would select equals to make sure that that page is the specific page they have to land on in order to make that purchase you can also add multiple other rules so you can say rule number one they have to land on this page and you can do like doesn't contain for example so like if you had a page so if they got here but they didn't go to the actual um, live training room you can say doesn't contain um, and I can actually make a video talking about retargeting as well um, so you guys know how to do that you can also set up a conversion value so if you have some type of value for this particular conversion this is mainly used for like if you have purchases um, but since this suggests a view content then you can just leave it here and then once you have done this, um, just by selecting the uh, website event, you would just click create. I wonder if this loads other 
No, okay, it doesn't load other events. Okay, so you can um, click create, and then it's going to say um, your custom conversion for sign up for trading has um, been set up. Um, and that's pretty much it. So as people go to this page, it's gonna it's gonna trigger this, and it's gonna say um, this person signed up. Um, and then you can uh, make lookalike audiences based on how many people signed up for this training. For this particular training, you can make a lookalike audience based on the people that actually do um, sign up, okay? Um, so for example, this one you can see here, it says active, um, no recent activity because I'm not promoting this. Um, and this one has no activity yet because I just made these. So for example, for this one, it will show active um, because someone actually did take the step here. Um, so this category is a lead. Um, that's what I was trying to trying to show you, um, but I don't know why it's not allowing me to show that. But um, in any regard, this is how you would set that up. And then if you want to go into your um, ads manager, you can actually um, on the actual dashboard itself, you can actually show those custom conversions. So if you go to, um, if you scroll up here and you go to uh, columns and you go to customize columns um, and you go to convert under conversions and go to custom conversions, uh, as soon as this loads, um, you can then select your custom conversions from this area. So you can um, look at the total. So if you want to select, so let's just select, some of these are deleted. Um, okay, let's select this one and we'll just have this in this actual um, window and then we can click apply. Um, and since I don't have any ads up though, it's not going to show, but you, if I was running ads to this particular page, then I would know how many people signed up because based on the custom conversion, um, and then this will show up, um, right here in this area. So that's pretty much how you would set up a custom conversion. You can have custom conversions for different things. Um, Facebook ad manager used to have, um, different custom conversions. I'm not too sure when they changed that. So I have to look into that. Um, but it's pretty simple to set that up and then you can kind of use that for your business But like I said, I will definitely have more tutorials on Facebook ads um, Just because it's something that a lot of people will kind of get confused and it's really not that hard um, And you know once you kind of know what you you can definitely get some uh, good results Using Facebook ads if you know what you're doing so if you have any comments or suggestions leave those down below And if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't uh, checked out my live training on YouTube ads, you definitely want to go check that out. Um, that is going to be shut down pretty soon. So definitely go check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.